Hey guys, during the CES, AMD has given us a sneak preview of the latest CPUs, which they have claimed to be the fastest graphics in the world. And now we can actually share our findings with you. Brace yourselves. These CPUs not only live up to the hype, but also come at an enticing price point. So let's dive right in. First, I want to cover what's on the horizon. On January 31st, AMD is set to launch four different CPUs. Three of them will be readily available for the DIY market, and the 8300G will be exclusively distributed by the system builders such as Dell and HP. These processors are all built on the AMD's advanced Zen 4 architecture. Among the four SKUs, the top two boast full-size cores, while the bottom two exhibit a combination of Zen 4 and Zen 4C cores. However, the true standout feature of this release extends beyond sheer processing power. It lies within the seamless integration of the cutting-edge Radeon graphics, promising to deliver impressive gaming experience. Now let's take a closer look at the two CPUs that we're reviewing, starting with the Ryzen 7 8700G. As the flagship of this release, it boasts an impressive 8 cores and 16 threads, making it great for both gamers and creators. What truly sets this CPU apart is its integrated Radeon 780M graphics, claiming the title of the fastest graphics available in a desktop processor. Next in line is the Ryzen 5 8600G, equipped with the 6 cores and 12 threads. It's designed for those who need strong performance, but at a more accessible price point. With Radeon 760M graphics, it ensures smooth gameplay and efficient multitasking for a wide range of applications. Another interesting observation of these CPUs is their memory support. Until now, the latest Zen 4 CPUs performed at their best at 6000 mega transfers, and depending on your luck, you could go up to about 6400 mega transfers. However, these chips push right past that. In our tests, the memory was clocked at an impressive 6400, and AMD suggests that reaching 8000 is a feasible objective, provided you acquire a suitable memory kit and good motherboard. And I can confirm that memory speeds do have a significant difference when gaming on these chips. With these latest APUs, we also get the Ryzen AI through the dedicated accelerator, which should be much more efficient on certain AI workloads. But for now, there aren't really many workloads to test this, so the jury is still out on this one. In terms of pricing, the Ryzen 7 8700G with its $329 MSRP and the Ryzen 5 8600G priced at $229 represent AMD's gamble on the integrated graphics market. This move appears to signal AMD's vision for a shift in the industry towards the more integrated and efficient computing solutions, which I think will finally kill off any low-end discrete graphics cards. To see how they perform, we're going to start with a more CPU compute focused tasks. Please bear in mind that due to this being a new platform, our testing primarily focuses on comparing these two chips against each other. However, feel free to let us know if you'd like to explore this segment further and continue testing different CPUs with integrated graphics. Now, let's talk numbers and how these CPUs stack up, especially with different RAM speeds and against a discrete GPU. In V-Ray, the Ryzen 7 8700G equipped with 6400 mega transfer memory outperformed the 8600G by approximately 28% showcasing its superior rendering capability. When compared to the 8700G with 4800 mega transfers, the improvement was around 5%, underscoring the impact of higher memory speeds. Shifting our focus to the Cinebench R23, specifically in the multi-core performance category, the 8700G with 6400 mega transfer saw a 7% improvement over the same CPU with 4800 mega transfer RAM and a whopping 33% improvement over the 8600G. More cores here is more better. It's worth noting that the single core scores are equally intriguing as they match, contributing to overall system snappiness and favoring games that demand fast single core performance. In the case of Cinebench R24, we observe strikingly similar outcome, just with more modest numerical variations, but the ranking remains the same. In single-threaded 7-zip task, the Ryzen 7 8700G with 6400 mega transfer memory shows superior compressing performance, while decompressing performance is relatively similar across all configurations. This indicates that for the single-threaded file compression tasks, the Ryzen 7 8700G, particularly with the high memory speeds, offers the best performance. However, decompression tasks seem to be less impacted by the CPU model and memory speeds. 
when we look at the multi-threaded 7-zip tasks, the Ryzen 7 8700G with 6400 mega transfer memory demonstrates the highest performance in both compressing and decompressing, significantly outperforming the Ryzen 5 8600G and its own 4800 mega transfer configuration. This highlights the advantage of the Ryzen 7 8700G's additional cores and threads, as well as the impact of higher speed memory on the multi-threaded performance. In our gaming benchmarks, with Shadow of a Tomb Raider at 1080p with the lowest settings, the Ryzen 7 8700G with 6400 mega transfer speed outshines the 4800 mega transfer configuration by nearly 20% and exceeds the Ryzen 5 8600G by over 23%. When we bring in the RX 6700 XT into the mix, the performance jumps dramatically. Paired with the 8700G, the setup sees over 200% increase in performance compared to the integrated graphics alone. With faster 6400 mega transfer memory, the improvement is even more pronounced. This showcases the sheer impact of pairing a potent discrete GPU with high speed memory, offering substantial gains for gamers. However, the integrated graphics of the 8700G still stand tall, providing a solid option for those prioritizing budget or simplicity in their setup. With over 70 FPS, the game is more than playable, and there is no need for a separate 350 US dollar worth of GPU. At low quality setting, the 8700G with 6400 mega transfer memory performs about 18% better in average FPS than their 4800 mega transfer setup, and roughly 23% better than the 8600G. Here we are getting very close to 60 FPS on the higher end chip and probably a limit on what we can do without upscaling. For Formula 1 2022, at 1080p low settings, the integrated GPUs exhibit a notable performance difference influenced by the RAM speeds. The Ryzen 7 paired with a 6400 mega transfer memory experienced a remarkable 21% boost in average FPS compared to its 4800 mega transfer setup. This underscores how the faster memory can unleash more of the CPU's potential. Additionally, when we compare to the Ryzen 5 with 6400 mega transfer RAM, the 8700G demonstrates a 14% improvement, emphasizing that having more cores can lead to better performance. Stepping up to the 1080p medium settings in Formula 1 2022, we find that increasing the graphical quality still results in more than 60 FPS with the integrated graphics of the 8700G with a high speed RAM. This performance demonstrates its ability to handle more demanding graphical settings. While it's important to note that the discrete GPU outperforms it significantly, it's also worth keeping in mind that the GPU alone costs more than the CPU. In Starfield at 1080p low settings, the 8700G with 6400 mega transfer memory edges out its 4800 mega transfer setup and notably surpasses the 8600G, reaffirming the importance of having more cores and faster memory. Although these integrated graphics fall short of typical playable threshold of at least 60 FPS, achieving nearly 40 FPS is still quite impressive, considering this is a modern AAA title. MD did place a stronger focus on lighter games, but I think it's important to find its limitations here. With the basic games like League of Legends and Dota 2, I'm sure it will do just fine, and there's still upscaling and frame generation tech to leverage, but overall, not bad at all. With all of this in mind, let's do a quick look at how both these chips do with power and more importantly thermals. We set them to Prime95 with our custom burn-in test. As you can see, both these chips quickly hit 95 degree mark. They are equipped with the coolers that come in the package. The 8700G comes with the AMD Rave Spire and 8600G with the AMD Rave Stealth cooler. To be honest, both these coolers leave much to be desired. While they might suffice for lighter gaming sessions in the short term, it's advisable to invest in a more capable cooler for prolonged use. Both these chips are rated at 45 to 65 watts, which as you can see in this graph, lets them hit about 90 watts. So getting a dual fan single tower cooler or even lower end dual tower or 240 mil liquid AIO will ensure you get the most out of them. This brings us well to the conclusion. And I must say, while these APUs are not a novel concept, these chips have piqued my interest and they should really capture your attention as well. The fact that AMD can deliver such performance at an attractive price point is phenomenal, and I'm really looking forward to people testing them with 8,000 mega transfer memory too. Granted, at the moment, that level of memory might cost more than the chip itself, but it's an investment that can serve you well for a considerable amount of time. Personally, I believe that these CPUs will serve as an excellent starting point for individuals looking to build their first PC, or if they're on a tight budget providing both gaming capability and productivity potential. We have a promising upgrade path for the future. What are your thoughts? Is this something you would consider purchasing or would you give it a pass? Share your opinions in the comments section below. If you want to check out any of the items covered in the video, the links are in the description below. 
I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.